Welcome, welcome, one and all. Our next match is with our one and only champion, Mr. Satan. <laughs> Don't mess with the champ. Mr. Satan, are you ready for our next challenger? <laughs> it's on. <laughs> you heard him, folks. Mr. Satan, what a champion. Here comes our next challenger. It's Goku. Oh, 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 oh suddenly my stomach hurts. Oh, man, I'm done for. But you didn't even eat anything. Hey, welcome back YouTube. Today we're just looking at some more Dragon Ball figures. So today we've got SH figure arts, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Son, Goku. I know that's a lot of S's to say. Now I've had this guy in the collection for many, many, many years, so I've had him out of the package, so this isn't something new. It's just something worthy to do a video on because these Dragon Ball figures are so cool. They get lots of articulation. I know there's lots of reviewers on the net with these guys, but we're going to do it anyway because, you know what, I like these. These are so cool. Let's go ahead and quickly take a look. So we look at the package. We see the figure showcased within. we got the nice kind of comic old comic style digital art going on there we got our bandai logo resurrection f their logo going on and of course if you want to make sure that you're not getting a knockoff from china make sure you look for the seal of approval and as we look at the back we see all kinds of cool poses that uh, we're going to be able to do with goku here and he comes with a slew of different accessories, mostly hands and stuff, but we're going to look at it anyway once we get him out of the package. And of course, a bunch of Japanese language going on there. So that's really cool. So yeah, if you like uh, something with a lot of cool posability, get these guys because they're really cool. And even if you don't like Dragon Ball, there's other franchises that these guys do. So let's get this guy out, shall we? And check him out. All right, so here we are, folks. We're back with our Goku here. He's got lots of accessories here, but again, it's just we've got two face sculpts going on here. We'll check these out in a moment, and we've got a slew of different hands, just like we saw in our Super Saiyan Goku review. But let's just go ahead and dive right into his sculpt a little bit, and we'll just take a quick look at his articulation to see what this guy can do, because he may not look like much, but man, these toys can bend in ways that I wouldn't even think would be completely possible just amazing what you can do with these so here we have it here we've got a real beautiful sculpt here of the hair i absolutely love this i like it because it's got a flat mat versus a um, gloss that vegeta has i prefer goku's look but yours may vary on that and he's got some nice looks going on there i love his gi it's nice and vibrant and these are all attached, glued on too, so it's pretty good there. Um, Articulation-wise here, you're going to be able to rotate his head because it's on a ball joint. His neck is a separate joint, so you're going to be able to look quite a, quite a ways down. You're going to be able to look quite a ways up. His arms can go straight on out there, and you can kind of see the joints going on in there. And the joint can actually, there is a butterfly going in there, so you're going to be able to move this all kinds of shapes and sh shapes and sizes all the way around uh bicep you can kind of twist that around there elbow of course is double joint pinless and you're going to be able to rotate the wrist and you're going to be able to hinge that actually the wrists are more of like on a i wouldn't say yeah it's, it's a hinge joint but you can rotate it around it almost looked like a ball joint going on in there uh the waist here you can actually pull them up so you get that extra posability when you stretch them out and you can rotate around at the waist. The legs, you can go out quite a ways there and uh, you can rotate it, see, and you can actually pull it down just like those G.I. Joe classifieds, but with these, they're a lot easier to do and they're just, they're just easier to work with than they are with the G.I. Joe classified, I find. You can bend them at the knees. It looks a little strange, but that's just kind of how these toys kind of work. And uh, I don't think there's a swivel there at the cut, but you can rock it around here at the ankles and you can hinge it inwards and outwards. So you, you can get a lot of posability with these guys. It's unbelievable what you can do with them. It's pretty cool. I was always impressed with the SH figure arts. Oh yeah, and these kind of hinge down too, like these sleeves kind of go up and down for whatever reason. For whatever reason, and he's got that cool Wii symbol that uh, is on his key there. 
And here he is standing up beside a Masters of the WWE here. So basically the same as the Masters of the Universe Origins. It's the same same bucks and whatnot. So it kind of gives you an idea what's going on there. And finally, here he is against our Super Saiyan Goku that we previously done beforehand. So you can tell that these are in scale with one another. And here is our side view going on here. And, of course, we got a back view, so you guys can get an, get an idea what's going on with these figures. So, they're pretty great. I really love these figures. Um, I would always recommend these. These can be a little bit pricey as well. Uh, same with the um, uh, Masters of the Universe Classics. That's what I was trying to think of. But I find these are probably... I don't know. It depends which character you're getting. It, 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 always, it all varies on the character as well. But I find you can get these... Canadian, anywhere from 80 to 100 for the standard ones that you can get, which is probably pretty cheap for a SH figure or its character because they are expensive. American, that's probably going to be 50 or 60. You can look on Big Bad Toy Store if you're interested in these type of figures because they carry all kinds. So if you're in the States, check them out and uh, see what you think. And here we are. So here's all his accessories. We've got all kinds of hands here. And, of course, he's got the three face sculpts that includes one that was on him in the package. So we got the frown, or the shouting. We've got the smirk and, of course, the frown. We've got an instant transmission finger here, or hand, I should say. We've got some martial art pose hands, two different types of sets, and, of course, our blast hands. Well, one of them, these ones here would be our Kamehameha, or Kama... Oh, I can't even say the word. It's like a tongue twister to me. Kamehameha. There you go. And he does have one last accessory, so we'll move those aside, and that is, of course, you get the original face sculpt with him, so that's awesome. You get the uh, standard Goku head, and it looks just like him. It is perfectly, it is so perfect, and it's painted nice for the eyes and molded in the black plastic, so it just looks so cool. Anywho, folks, that is our... Dragon Ball Super Saiyan God Goku going on here for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys on the next one. And you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you. Take care. Bye bye.